Hi, I'm going to do an unboxing video of Microsoft Wireless all-in-one media keyboard that I just received today. I needed something wireless because it was difficult for me to type on this laptop uh, from my position and I'm getting carpal tunnel uh, syndrome on both of my wrists so I want to basically uh, lay back like this and I needed something that I could type on my lap and not just type I wanted to also have the mouse part with the keyboard so that I don't need to resort to an external mouse like this or use the touchpad because for example if I connect this mouse and get this thing on my lap like this uh, then then I have this something like this on my lap it's not very comfortable I'm using this book but then if I need to type something or occasionally if I need to game I need to then reach with my other hand to this keyboard uh, I'm not gonna game with this wireless keyboard but basically I wanted something uh, that would not make me force reach to my laptop and in down the road I would like to buy an external monitor and then uh, actually use uh, my laptop or whatever computer I have from the couch so uh, you know now is the time to buy stuff now is the time to uh, purchase stuff because of the all day season and all the deals and etc so I wanted to um, get a deal. I didn't get the best deal while purchasing it, and this is not something uh, that you will, most of you will purchase because we're talking about another country here. As you can see, I'm purchasing this uh, here in Turkey, but uh, it's the same product of Microsoft. The only thing being, uh, I don't actually know if it is an English keyboard or a Turkish one. Um, the description said both, like this is a, the descriptions were actually half English, so uh, it looked like it was an English keyboard, but then uh, there was another description added to that saying that it's, a, it's actually a Turkish keyboard, so let's get to I'm not actually sure whether it is Turkish or English. Okay, here I'm starting to see it, and I saw a Turkish flag, so I think this is going to be a Turkish keyboard, which is something that I actually also want. Um, I thought maybe I would buy it down the road separately, but if I don't have to buy it down the road separately, then it's all, all the more. It says... Okay... It says... Turkish compatible and it says that the English uh, picture is for advertisement purposes so I think this is going to be a Turkish keyboard so it's not something that you would then buy in say United States or United Kingdom um, but everything else uh, would be other than the the letters everything else would be the same as an English keyboard, so there's some reflection here. There's other parts, as you can see, things are written in Turkish, so all the more reason to believe that this is a Turkish one. Uh, supposedly, it uh, supports multi touch, uh, like pull, scroll, and zoom. If you were to translate it, uh, the functionality of the keyboard is the same. Uh, these are pers these are supposedly personalized uh, buttons. Um, between this and another rival, I thought about a lot. So I purchased this, which you can find in Amazon for this price right now. Uh, the most purchased item is this, which is, I guess you can see it here. Uh, the Logitech one and Logitech one. Uh, is way cheaper now. It's this is a promotional price uh, for you know the Thanksgiving season, uh, holiday season. But even without this price, it's actually cheaper than the Microsoft. 
And both of them have like about 4 out of 5 stars. Microsoft has even lower rating. This one is 4.2 out of 5. Microsoft has 3.9 out of 5. Um, I still went with the Microsoft uh, because I, I saw that this had a very smaller um, touchpad area whereas the Microsoft has a larger one. Uh, one of the first thing. And second, I watched some videos about how the uh, how the buttons feel and such. As you can see, if I zoom in a bit, these buttons, uh, although uh, they are clearly laid out uh, separately, uh, they are a bit different than the Microsoft ones. The Microsoft ones are going to be supposedly uh, like they will have a, some sort of a curve, like the button will be instead of being flat will be something like that and the spacing between buttons is much more with the Microsoft uh, version than the Logitech product here you can see okay um, the spacing at the bottom is actually uh, different than the spacing at the top of the keys um, but I kind of felt like I would be I would love to type more on the Microsoft one and the one advantage of Microsoft keyboard uh, compared to Logitech one is this is regarded as spill resistant. Even in one YouTube video, the guy was just spilling water on top of it and nothing was happening. It So I like this. Uh, my laptop is a, a Dell 7000 gaming laptop of previous generation. I like these keys, which is called like chiclet keyboard, I think. Um, the Microsoft keyboard looks more like this chiclet type uh, than the Logitech one uh, but other than that they both serve the same purpose so here's hoping that uh, this thing will work and will last so this is an unboxing video uh, therefore uh, I don't think I will be able to use it but I'm just trying to get to the product and just let you see how it looks. There's a bit of scratch on the side, but uh, there's some, this seal here, which I'm trying to cut. Uh, in Turkey, they I, in the past, they would always open the product first, I don't know why, to either change the documentation or just to verify the contents or something. Um, so hopefully this is a completely unopened one. It looks that way. Um, let's see, I'm holding my... Uh, using on the one hand, it's starting to be difficult, but uh, yeah, I got it now. Alright, so I'm getting this out now. The keyboard is now out. And the most important question, is it a Turkish one? Yes, it is. So you can see the O, C, H, uh, C, the um, G with the, <laughs> the soft G, um, and I and the U uh, of Turkish letters and the U, U with dots, um, are there. This looks like an unopened thing, or at least the keyboard looks untouched, which is as it should be. So I'm gonna take it out now, uh, but before I do that, let me just compare it with the uh, Amazon.com image to see, for you to see how different these things are. So let me put it there and okay so this is the English version so most of you will probably be buying this this is the QWERTY I don't know how you spell it or pronounce it type of keyboard which is Q W E R T Y that's how they call it and this is the Turkish version of it, which is the same, Q-W-E-R-T-Y. Uh, but the difference is, this thing stops at O-P. 
and this thing doesn't but has like these additional letters likewise this thing starts at KL there's this thing continues with sh and I and these O and Che they are also there um, yes Turkish alphabet has these extra uh, letters but Turkish alphabet doesn't have X or W whereas this one or Q this one also has that so not only it's a Turkish keyboard uh, but it is uh, as with the other two Turkish keyboards you can actually perfectly use it for the English language all right so now I'm going to just take it out from there but let me see if I can do it with one hand there are things that I can do with one hand there are things that I cannot okay so uh, I get it out and okay so this thing is separate uh, it moved out a bit but doesn't matter uh, this is the USB receiver let's see there's some sort of a one page electronic explanation for it so it's made in China and etc of course it's made in China year of manufacture 2015 Hmm. Interesting. So this is the end of 2017. So this thing has been sitting on the shelves for two friggin' years. Actually, now that I see it, um, it's not like dusty, but uh, I don't know. Um, there's some bit of wear and tear on it, uh, but that's actually not indicated for anything. So this might be in English. Okay, so it gives you a brief explanation of how to put the batteries this is product guide it said this is limited warranty and this is some you uh, user manual type of thing small user manual with lots of different languages let's see does it start with English okay so it starts with English and it has Turkish at the back so it should be pretty standard. Um, I will just connect this to to my computer, and then this thing is supposedly going to work uh, if I turn it on. Now the question is, uh, I think it should come with the batteries, but I don't know. So this is the USB here. It's uh, quite small, and this this has magnetic on it, so a uh, magnet on it. So this should actually insert into the laptop with the magnet. So I'm now inserting this into this USB. Okay, wow, we are setting up Microsoft Nano receiver. I did not turn on. Okay, so now it suddenly says Microsoft Nano Receiver. I did not turn on the, the keyboard. I don't think it is on. Uh, it should be an on-off button somewhere. Okay, here it is. There is an on-off button. Um, but it immediately understood that this was an Nano Receiver. Okay, so now I'm going to put, put it to my um, bed. Now I'm going to... I'm gonna rip this thing off. This is supposedly also durable to some sit on, so it's not just spill resistant, but sit on durable, it says, but it's a very vague statement. Uh, these things heavily depend on how heavy you are, so it doesn't mean anything. Wow, this, that's some, something else. Device is ready, it's set up and ready to go. Okay, so it took half a minute for it to register that. So I'm going to use my other hand. Okay, so let's not touch this thing with that. And there 
little bit. All right, I took it out, and now this thing is here. This is this protrusion which says something like Microsoft all in one keyboard? I think this is for the batteries inside to pull the batteries and etc. If the batteries are already there, then this should turn on. So, okay. There is, seems to be some sort of a green color here which is super difficult to see. Let's see if I can focus on that. It's not easy. Oh. Uh, and green means what? Green means, according to this super quick user manual, should mean something. Okay. Okay, so this is on? Are you, are you serious? Green is on and red is off? So this came to me as on? Okay, now it is off. Yeah, now it is... Well, again, you don't see it, maybe, if I put that. Why was it... Why did it come to me as on? Because I think... Now it's gonna be off. Okay. There's no light... There There's a light indicator here. Okay, so I don't know... Uh, it should come with batteries, so let me switch this back on, does it matter? Let's see if I... I'm using my hand, nothing is happening. Now I will turn it off, which is the other thing, nothing is happening, I'm looking at my computer. Uh, which you can't see right now. But uh, maybe it either doesn't have the batteries, or, and there's no light or something coming up. Uh, maybe there's no batteries, and maybe, maybe I need to uh, open this. So, I'm gonna end the video here because it's already too long. And once I figure out how, how this works and such, I will make a separate quick video about the very initial impressions. But, in terms of unboxing, this is how it is. I don't see any effect or whatsoever the labels are uh, glued in um, uh, but there's no defect on them uh, it looks quite smooth the touchpad as I said the Logitech one smaller like this area but Logitech had physical buttons whereas this one doesn't and um, I must admit this looks very flimsy but I still wanted to go with the Microsoft version. Uh, yeah, doesn't look very durable at all, but... Uh, okay, so I'm gonna stop this video here. This was the unboxing of Microsoft All-in-One uh, Media Keyboard. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.